Hi everybody, it's Carol and I'm back with another project right now and what I'm going to do is I'm making clusters of material and flowers for my journal and what I'm going to start with, I'm going to use paper. I have Tim Holtz paper here and I'm just going to layer it up. I'm going to layer it with lace and um, some material. I have muslin here and I'm just going to build it up and it'll be all ready for the journals. So I'm going to do that right now and take you along with me. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to start with muslin and get some sari silk on here and maybe a little flower and let's see I can stick a button nope that's gonna be too dark I can put a butterfly on here what I'm gonna do is I'm going to staple I'm gonna staple this first and staple it where I can get everything and then I will glue a butterfly on it and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to ink the paper I'm going to ink the ends of the paper And what I could do is, I have some flowers here. Oh, it looks like they're stuck. They're glued to each other. I can glue this down. Just to give it, um, these clusters a little a little something for when you use them in journals. They're so bright, so I want to I want to um, tone them down with um, with my I'm trying to think at the same time. I'm going to tone it down with my distressed ink. I want to glue this down over the staple. Although I like the uh, staple, I think it makes it it's very organic looking and it gives it some texture. A lot of strings on here. And it depends on where I use it in my journal. You know, I will put some bling on it. You know, this is not the right kind. And... So let's see, <clears throat> excuse me, so that one is one down. I'm just going to put some inking on the ends over here because the paper was torn on purpose. It was torn on purpose and I have black and white lace. And let's see what else I could put on here. I have this. <clears throat> and I also have muslin here. And flowers. And I have... I have tons of sorry silk. I tried to bring a lot of things over that I normally use in my clusters. Sorry silk adds so much uh, strings. I think it's too dark for that. 
maybe if I use the white. Let's see. Could do that and this. Well, just don't know. Let me see. I could do the <clears throat> the white with the white or the white with the black. You know, I have different materials with my cluster today and bringing in the different textures, the paper and the muslin and the lace and the flowers. I like that. I like that. So I can staple this. And then what I'll do is I could probably, I could either put a button in there or I can put a bead in here. Oops, I'm dropping them on the floor. I'm going to put the bead in there. But I ran out of clusters for my journals and I thought this would be a good project. There you go. Okay, and I like that one, so I may, I may stay with, well, I like the flowers on here. So I can either ink as I go or ink at the end. So let's see. Let's see how the lace goes. Lace with... I have a lot of sorry silk. I have it over here and I have it behind me. I ordered more sarvi silk the other day and it came in the mail yesterday oh my gosh it is gorgeous it is so pretty it's so pretty I don't want to use it but of course I will okay let's see you know I'm gonna put the sorry silk on top of this and you know like I said before this is the first time I'm use I'm mixing the paper and the material with the sari silk on my clusters. There, and I'm going to staple this. And I want to mix the colors a little bit just so so that it doesn't all match, you know? Like there's blue on the flowers underneath this. I like these. I like those, okay. Let's see what we have here. I like. Yeah, so I wanna ink this down so the ends are not white. Okay, let's see. Why don't we do black? Since there is black in here, let's see. We want to do a little muslin. I could do a little muslin. What's nice about muslin is it tears so nicely. And 
hang off the page. And I like these flowers. I'm going to bring some down here. My desk is a mess here. I just have so much out here. Is that the sign of a hard worker? Okay, let's see. See if I can get everything in with this. I'm actually going to put another staple over there. Okay, let's see. Maybe we'll do a button for this one. just to give it a little something so it's a little different than the beads. I like this. I like those clusters. Okay. See when I when I tour this paper it leaves the white edging. Okay, let's see. I like the... Let's do black again. I think it really stands out. I have these flowers over here. Two of them stuck over there. Let's go with this. I'll have to put a butterfly on there, but he's not going to fit right now. There's a purpley. Oh, I have these strings all over. I'm going to do the purpley. My ear conditioner just went off. I didn't even realize it was on until it goes off. Okay. Okay, let's see. Maybe I'll try to do two at a time. I like the flowers. So the back of this, well, I'm gonna do this side only because it'll be less inking. So this is how I do my clusters. Well, one of the ways that I do the clusters, because sometimes I, when I do the clusters of the material, and that's all I use. I love this about muslin. All you have to do is cut it and tear it, and it, it rips straight down. And it's so organic. I love muslin. I love working with it. Okay, let's see. I like this sari silk here because it's folded flat. Let's see how I can do with 
two at a time. And they don't turn out very well. Okay. Or maybe Ugh, this thing is twisted. Oh, let's see. I think I'm just going to do with the white lace. And I think I'm going to stay with the flowers here because they're turning out nice. Just with different, different style flowers here. Wonder if I can get a butterfly in here. I can do a butterfly. And you see the glue popping up over here like that, but it will dry and it's going to dry clear. And it holds very good too. Okay, we'll do, turn this around and do black. How about, oh, I don't like that. about if we do a black button in there maybe a smaller one I like the black one we'll do the black one I think it fits right in that circle it fits perfect in there on a bring these little thingies out. Okay. Let's do a couple more. I like this mass media of fixing or creating something. The mass making of these ephemera clusters. I love Tim Holtz paper for doing this. I wonder if we can just... Hmm. Okay, I have my muslin here and it looks like this one here is going to be too long. So, I'll put that there, and then I'll put this over here. Put this over here. Sorry about that. My husband walked up the stairs and Stella's in here with me. She stays with me. She's my shadow. She follows me all over. But if she hears somebody, 
she starts to bark. Starts to bark at them. Okay, what flower should I put on here? To tell the truth, I've never made my clusters like this before. I usually just do the material ones with lots of lace. I'll make a video on that kind also, but I thought I would do something different because I've seen clusters made with the Tim Holtz paper and you know, different textures of paper with lace in there. And I have so much of it. So I thought, you know what, let me just try that because it'll be different. And it's fun. It's fun making it this way. Okay. Let's get this on here, and I like that. Because everything, it's between the paper, the Tim Holtz paper, and the muslin, and this hair flower, to me it's like, it's all organic. It's all like paper organic, and I'm really liking this. Really liking it. And then when you put it, when I put it in the journals with the, for the clusters, I always add things to it. I'm going to clean off my glue because it's, the top is getting, it's getting messy. Okay, so I don't know how I'm going, but my camera has died on me the last couple of videos if I go too long. So I thought I'm just going to, I'm going to try and stay under 30 minutes. Okay, let's see. And I'm going to stay with the muslin too because I like I like the way the the muslin is working with the paper. Oh my gosh, look at these strings. This is what muslin does. Try and look for a nice long piece of my pre-cut lace. Or what if I put the lace on top of the muslin this time? I could trim that down. I want a nice colorful flower. just want to trim this down a little bit. Oh, I'm loving this. Wish I had a different color. I only have these buttons with me. Okay, I think I'll do the pink. Although I have this little, I think I'll do the pink one. Because when I use it, when I use it for the journal, in the journal, 
I will also put things on here, you know, that is associated with the, uh, the journal, maybe even a butterfly. Put the butterfly on now. Okay, now this is going to dry, and even though you see the glue on there, it's going to dry and it's going to dry clear. Okay, let's see. I like these flowers. I think it's hard to see on there though. I'm just liking the muslin on here. I think everything pairs very well together. The muslin, I know I'm repeating myself, but I do, I really like that. Um, okay, let's see. Here's a nice There's a nice flower. Well, I don't know, maybe it's maybe we'll do green. I think we'll do the green one. And Pink, blue, let's do blue. That's a, like a greeny blue. You know, sometimes when, when I see the color here, it's different on camera. Because I noticed that with my Sari Silk. It was like a bluey green, and on camera it looked green or blue and to me it looked green or blue I don't remember but it looked the opposite I like this butterfly on here too so we'll stick the butterfly down and I think I'm gonna call it quits right now because I don't know if my camera is gonna shut off because my last couple of videos it it turned off and I don't want that to happen again oh my gosh I have such a mess on here because I have all the buttons and flowers out so let me pull down as many as I can fit over here and we'll go with this so this was a fun video thank you all so much for coming along and joining me with making my clusters for my journal and gosh look at this and we'll talk soon have a good day and we'll see you later bye bye